How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Came home today for lunch and checked the mail as I always do and this was in the mailbox. I know who it's from and I know one, two things that's supposed to be in it but it shouldn't have took a box this big for two things. So let's get into it. You know the process. We got to see what? Come on, what? That's right. What's in the box? I saw you with the box. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the Mixing up some of my my rust for a project I'm working on. Oh, man. Yeah, this is from Mr. Bill Brown. He reached out to me, said that he really liked my content and everything, which I greatly appreciate. I always love you know constructive criticism and feedback and everything from you guys and gals because. You know, that tells me if I'm doing something right or if I'm doing something wrong or whatever. So, you know, anytime I can get feedback is always welcome. But he asked if there was anything I was looking for. <clears throat> so I was like, well, you know, I hate to have anybody look for something for me, even though... I know if I don't, I probably won't get it, if you know what I'm saying. So... I, I just off the cuff say that there is one thing that I'm looking for and then I don't know what two and a half three weeks later he sent me a picture of the of the car and I was like oh wow that's nice so he asked me for my address and I'm like wow uh, we haven't even discussed what you want for yet truth be told the way he was carrying on and everything he wasn't asking for anything but anyhow he showed me a picture and told me that he wanted me to paint a car for him. So I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll do that for Trey. So that's two things that I noticed in here. The car that he showed me the picture of that I was looking for and the car that he wants me to paint for him. So I've already got it cracked open. So let's see exactly what's in this big boy. We use those. Air pockets and bubble wrap. <clears throat> All right, this is the one that he got for me. Thank you very much. We'll get to that here in just a second. I want to see what else is in here. More bubble wrap. I always check everything, make sure nothing is in it, like a note or a sticker or anything. You know, stuff gets bounced around and it gets moved in there. Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love those trucks. I'll show it to you here in just a second. I'm looking at everything. Dodge Hemi Challenger. From the 53rd set. And truth be told, that, the Camaro, and the Talladega are my favorite castings from that set. Well, the other half of it, the pickup trucks, of course, but, you know, there's that. And he got me the 16 Camaro SS Skull Candy. And the only other ones I liked from this set was the Camaro, which is what this is, the King Cuda, and the Ford Lowboy. The Grabber was okay, but that Corvette, I didn't much care for it. And then from the other half, like I was telling you, I got to do me a custom with one of these. I've got to. But it's a Ford pickup truck. Right on, man. Thank you. Just those three cars right there are like, whoo, wow. Mm. Mm. Lord have mercy, brother. All this for that one car? Wow. And so it sure is a world. As I sit here and I look at it, I actually do like it. But from the pictures on the back, I'm, I haven't seen it in person. My, my store never got the whole set. I've seen the King Cuda. Never saw the low boy in person. I saw the Grabber. I've seen one of the Camaros or two of the Camaros. I never saw the Vet. But it actually looks good in person. I'm surprised. So I take back my previous statement. It does look good. I don't care for that yellow windshield, but it goes good with that color scheme. Heck yeah. 
And I'm definitely going to do a custom on one of these because, just because, whew, that car is bad to the bone to start with. Thanks, man. Wow. Wow. I keep digging. How deep is this box? That should be to the floor by now. Got the 67 Chevelle SS396. The 70 Chevy Camaro RS. The one with the big block hood on it. That orange just looks good. I'm going to have to get that decal off of there and do a wheel swap on one just to see how it looks. I mean, this stuff's only been sitting for a couple of minutes. So, wow, look at it. It's whew, like Ellie Mae Clampett's coffee. Mm. But he sent two of these, and I thank you because that means one of them's extra for me. But he wanted me to do him a custom car, a uh, Gulf livery, and I actually have some decals for another car that I was going to do for me, so I'll use those and I'll just order me another set that way I can get it done. We have 69, and the decals are not for 69, they're for 67, but here at Old Man Diecast, we can make anything work, right? <laughs> so I got to get one of those painted up and, and sent back to them. And you sent two of the 85 IROCs. The red ones. The guy knows me. He's been watching. He knows I like trucks and Camaros. <laughs> knows that for sure, don't he? Two of the 2017 Camaro ZL1s in blue. Run out of room over here. Oh yes, beauties, beauties. That's it. Set that over to the side. <clears throat> oh, it's on a short car too. And it's international. I definitely can't open this. But it's the 67 Oldsmobile 442 Golf. If you notice, there's no Guaranteed for life up there. It's got the red writing on there and a bunch of gibberish on there that I cannot understand, pronounce, or comprehend. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. Short cards are okay, but if you buy, what is it, the 50 pack or the 100 pack, whatever it is, they all come in short cards anyway. But to get a short card international, now that that's, that's something right there. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Mm. And this bad boy, I'm definitely going to have to do a custom with it. Whenever I see it, I just get so many ideas. But it happened to be, happened to be, happens to be Jay's over at JDC Diecast favorite car. Or favorite casting, anyway. <laughs> he does a collect but he's got all of these mm. <laughs> wow man thank you each one of those will definitely be taken well care of i've got a few custom ideas in my head just sitting here looking at them and everything Whew. but there's only one in there that i cannot do right now the rest of them will just have to be put on the back burners but i got to get that one done i've got one two three four four in containers that are stripped and ready to go i've got one sitting over there that i've painted i got a clear coat and then i've got this one that i'm working on. i'll go ahead and give y'all a little teaser because by the time y'all see this it'll be done but i'm working on my first ever gas lands build look at how y'all like these headlights little technique I'm trying it. How you like that? You know, you can put red on anything and it, it looks okay. But this, I wanted it, this is going to be a gasoline scout car. I know that this is not what the video is about, but I'm just giving y'all a heads up. 
Well, you don't want bright headlights whenever you're going out through the, the wastelands, you know, at night or, or whatever. So what does the military use? The military uses red lenses, red lights whenever they have to do anything at night. Reading, walking, whatever. So I wanted mine to look like a true red military lens. So that was just a little paint idea that I had. And I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? I still got to do the wheels, but I'm just going to rust the whole wheels with that, with this concoction that I've got over here. Yeah, it's nice and warm, but yeah. But here's what the whole, the whole kit and caboodle was about. This right here. So let me open this bad boy up. He's got it packaged. Oh, he's got it in a protector too. A brand new protector. Wow. Let me take it out of the protector so when I show you, you get the full extent of it. Hmm. That thing is gorgeous. Hey, brand new protector. Made in USA. Wow. Yeah. But it's from the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary. And if you know me, what car do you think it is? Mm -hmm. What car do you think it is? <laughs> I won't tease y'all any longer. But it is a chase car. And I'd actually like to have the Bone Shaker from it, the Dodge Dart from it. And I'd like to have the whole set. Twin mill, eh. But anyhow, it's the Chase Camaro, the gold. Would you guys look at that? You know, I say it all the time with this community, something else, because for somebody to reach out and say, you looking for anything in particular? And, you know, these are all over the place, you know, eBay and places like that, and people want a fortune for them. They really do. Want and get are two different words. Separated in the ends of the dictionary. Want and get are two very, very different words with different meanings. But for somebody to reach out and say, are you looking for anything in particular? And you just off the wall say, yeah, you know, there is one that I'm looking for. Because, every, you know, not everybody has the same context that you or I have. You know, this person might know that person. This person knows that person. And somehow, some way, they may know, just may, know where this car is. <laughs> Or that car is, or that car is. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Wow, Mr. Brown, thank you so very much for all of these. Particularly, particularly this, of course, but for all of these. I mean, you know what I like. You know I like the Chevelle. You know I like Camaros. You know I like the trucks. You've been watching way too many of my videos, brother. Keep it up. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm glad you watch any of them. Any of you. I'm glad you watch any of them. Wow, man. Thank you. I'll get on that custom real, real shortly. Like I said, I've, there's a few in front of you. Yeah, but I'll take mine just put them on the back burner and, and get this one in. Because that's what I was... I've got three that I've got to do for somebody else. Two for one person and one for another person. And then I was going to start on mine. Especially those up there on the wall. But, yes sir, we'll get you squared away. That thing's gorgeous, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you so very much. That's all I got for, for you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so very much for coming. And Mr. Brown, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. This is going back in the protector right now. Wow. Thank you. Thank you all so very much for coming. Thank you all for watching as always. And we'll see you in the next video. Get out there and hunt. You don't hunt. You can't find. And sometimes, somebody, some way, shape, or form, will just have to help every once in a while. We may not want to. We may want to do it all ourselves. But sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
for everything. See you next time. Take care.